before any of you Forex traders come in my comments saying it's not a scam, it is. It is. It is. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renny. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, Welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking your time to watch this video. So on my channel, I do fashion, finance, lifestyle, and much more. Today, we're gonna talk all about something that has to do with finance. <sighs> so, in the end of 2017, I, Rennie, got involved with, I got involved with an MLM, okay? An MLM is a multi-level marketing scheme, and this was Forex. So Forex, I know I'm the girl who teaches you about personal finance and all of that, but yes, at one point in my life, I was involved with Forex. I'm sure many of you know about Forex. Forex traders are those people who DM you. Yo, you're 18 and you live with your mom and your dad, bro. I have a penthouse, okay? You're broke. Come learn how to make money like me. Or they'll DM you. You still take the bus and you're 16 years old? Wow, I have a Porsche. Come learn how to trade from me. I'm sure all of you know them. And before any of you Forex traders come in my comments saying it's not a scam, it is. It is. It is. So you remember my salary negotiation video when I told you that I walked so that you guys can fly? In this situation, I walked, I tripped, and I fell so that you guys can Euro step around and make a detour because honestly, there's no need for you guys to get involved in an MLM like this. There's absolutely no reason. I know people will be in the comments telling you that, oh no, there's a you can do this. Like IML is good. It's not. It's not. It it, it just isn't. I'll I'll tell you a few pros, but the cons greatly outweigh the pro pros. So I don't recommend it. I just wanted to preface this video by saying I'm not bashing forex itself. I'm bashing IML iMarkets Live, yes, I'm gonna say your name straight. I am Markets Live, also known as I am Academy. I'm bashing them and I'm bashing multi-level marketing schemes in general because they are very predatory practices. With Forex, and Forex is foreign exchange currency, there's absolutely nothing wrong with trading Forex. But the problem is that the market is so unregulated that all of these unregulated brokers like IML are able to come on and take advantage of people. A lot of times they prey on teens especially and they give you this, this appearance of, oh, if you just trade for five minutes a day, you'll be a millionaire in 2.2 seconds. That's not what happens and it's easy to get sucked into it. So I'm gonna let you know my experience I also will say that you can make money working at IML. Lots of people do make money work or trading with IML Lots of people do make money, but it's the exception and not the rule There's no need to put your money in something where the exception is that you make money You actually want to be somewhere that is safer and that the rule is that you generally make money and Sometimes you may lose money or the, like that's what you really want. You don't want the majority of the time you can lose money. So that's just my preface. Don't come for me in my comments because I don't care. So I, I want to make this story time not just funny, but I want to make it educational so that you guys can learn from my mistakes. So Forex trading, what is it? Forex trading is the act of buying, selling, and exchanging foreign exchange currencies. So that means if I have US dollars and I buy yen, Japanese yen with them. The profit is my gains from that sale. That's how it works. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but that's essentially what happens. So Forex is a type of investing, and just like with any other type of investing, there are risks. But I just think the risks with Forex are so high if you don't have any educational background. If you're investing in the stock market, you're investing in a company. So you kind of understand like what the company does. You can easily research. Like I know what Apple does, so I feel confident investing in Apple. With Forex, you're investing in the spread between the US dollar and the Japanese yen. I have no idea about any of that. So there's no need for me to be putting my money there unless I am an educated trader. And that's the major problem. Forex MLMs like IML actually prey on people's lack of knowledge. That's how they make so much money. Pretty much what Forex traders do is they shame you into seeing, they shame you by like being like, oh, you only make that much money. There's such an easy way to make more money. Let me show you. And yeah, that's that's a whole problem that they have. They need to stop that because uh, actually it works for them. So I guess that's why they do it. But it's obviously a very predatory practice and they do it on young kids mostly. 
I would say that is red flag number one. If somebody is trying to push you into something and they're very forceful about it and they're shaming you into doing something, it's probably not good and it's not, it's not gonna benefit you in the long term, it's gonna benefit them for you to join it. I know that I teach you guys about financial literacy, but I have no, I have no desire to shame you guys into, into investing in the stock market. It does not benefit me if you invest in the stock market or not. It only benefits you if you do. So while I'm here to give you the knowledge and the education, I will never be the person to shame you into doing it. So let me go back and explain exactly how I got involved with this. So back in 2017, uh, I was in my last year of university. It was a fall, fall semester and I had just finished a semester. So uh, it was about to be Christmas time and one of my friends had constantly been posting about um, IML and how he's making so much money. He was traveling the world, posting, posting his Gucci slippers, all of these things on, online. And you know what? Gucci slippers do not impress me at all. But traveling, I do love traveling, and the ability to make money from your phone is something that really appeals to me. So at this time, I was already trading in the stock market, so I was already making money from my phone, and it was very low effort. So I was like, if I can make money in another place, obviously I should do that, right? One day this person messaged me, or I messaged them, I can't actually remember, it was like three years ago, and they asked me about if I was interested in learning more about IML. I said, sure, like, there's no harm in actually learning it. Well, they asked me if I want to learn more about Forex. They didn't say IML specifically, but there's no harm in that, right? So I was like, sure, yeah, I'm down. It was like a 30 minute, 40 minute conversation where they were showing me all their trades, how much money they were making, how easy it is, how there's a whole academy to learn, how like the platform is so robust, how they have this Telegram group where they all talk all the time. Like it was a lot and it looked pretty good to me. Like I, I didn't see anything wrong with it. You can even, copy your trades from an experienced trader just in case you don't fully understand and they kept telling me oh you don't even need to learn how to you don't even need to understand forex because i'm someone who asks a lot of questions so i was like but i don't really understand how forex foreign exchange works like how do i know what to buy blah blah they were like oh you don't actually need to understand it like all you need to do is follow this guy's trades you can pay an extra ten dollars a month i think it was and then you'll get to learn you you just follow their trades and your your profit will go up and your and that's it and i was like oh okay even better because honestly i'm a very lazy trader i like when people give me educated opinions of what to purchase and then I can do the reaches for myself. So that is red flag number two. If they tell you that you don't have to work for anything and that you just have to copy someone else, that is a red flag. Like in what world, unless you're paying someone like a mutual fund or you're paying a stock, like an actual brokerage to manage your funds for you, in what world does it make sense that I could just copy someone's trade and it would be okay? Like that doesn't make, it doesn't really make sense. So that was red flag number two that just went over my head but I was like oh okay cool I get to just copy someone and make money oh my gosh that's so cool and he also made sure to show me his profits and his losses so he wasn't just showing me like oh I made all this profit like oh there's all it, my portfolio is all green no he was showing me like okay sometimes you're gonna make losses but also but for the majority it's profit which is just what happens in the stock market so I was like okay cool like this sounds like a great opportunity for me I'm going to make a lot of money and then he told me about the fee structure. The fee structure was, okay, you initially put, I think it was 225 US dollars down. Now, why would I, like $225, that's like 300 Canadian dollars. I should have been like, ah, no, that's too much to open an account. Like who pays $300 to open an account? But I was dumb, okay? I was just dumb. So I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Like I was a bit like, why? Like, that's a lot of money. He was telling me like, oh no, don't worry, the gains that you get, like, they'll make up for it. Like, it, it's basically a lot of sunk cost. You don't even have to worry about it. It's, it's gone. I want to, whatever. I just look back and I'm like, why was I this dumb? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But he reassured me, and this is where the MLM part comes in, that if I registered two more people, then I would be able to get my account for free the next month. So it was, I think it was 120 or $175 for every month after that, unless you hired, unless you got two other people to sign up. And honestly, this is where I say that MLMs can be good for those people who are great at network marketing. If you wanna basically ignore the um, trading part and just strictly do sales, this is a great place for you to be. I don't recommend it, but like, 
honestly, I, I think I'm a pretty good salesperson, so I could technically get two people to join me every month and get my account for free. But it's unethical because like I'm preying on these people. So that's why I do not, I chose not to do it. But I was like, okay, I'll try it for, like I'm not gonna promote something I don't know. So I was like, okay, I'll try it for a few months and then I'll, I'll start recruiting people if I actually like it. Well, well, that was red flag number three. The fact that you have to network market, so you have to do sales to trade, is makes no sense. If you're ever recruited to do sales for someone, in order to trade on their platform, they should be paying you a salary. You shouldn't have to, like, that doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You should be an employee of their company. It's just like any other MLM. So like Arbon or Herbalife or Lumi Spa, all of those things are mar multi-level marketing schemes. And yes, people can make a lot of money if you rise to the top, but a lot of people, the majority of people are on the bottom. That's why it's called a pyramid scheme. The, the bottom of the pyramid is so much bigger than the top. The top person is making bands, but the, the rest are not. They're not, they're really not. So this person that was recruiting me told me that they had never paid since they signed up because they had just been able to get people joining every single month and they'd never paid. So I was like, oh, if they can do it, I can easily do that. That was my thought. Um, but I have morals, so I decided not to recruit anyone, thankfully. Another tactic that he used was saying, I don't even need your money. Like, if you want to join, that's good. I already have people who are signing up, so it doesn't really matter if you join or not because people are going to sign up regardless. And you know, this makes you, this is like a, a tactic that salespeople do that they're like, oh, I don't need, I don't need this sale. Don't worry. Like, so many other people are willing to purchase my product. I don't need this sale. And basically, it's like a reverse psychology thing where then you decide to sign up because they told you you don't need, they don't need you. And that's red flag number four. If somebody is using reverse psychology on you to sign up for a product, do not do it. Ugh. I, I can't emphasize how dumb this decision was, but yes, I signed up, I gave the $300 deposit, deposit and no logical account has a $3, $300 deposit to start. Like, that doesn't make sense. So I had the $300 deposit, put it in, and then I was able to start trading. That money that you put in is actually going as a commission fee to that person that recruited you. It's not going towards this platform or anything, it's going as a commission to the person that was recruiting you and their manager and their manager and their manager. Remember that. So I actually got home and I told my parents all about it. I was like, oh my gosh, like I I found this cool new place. It's foreign exchange trading. I'm gonna make so much money, blah, blah, blah. And my dad and my mom were like, child, what? What? No, do not do this. And um, they're like, it doesn't make sense you have to pay to that much to join a platform. I was like, mom, you don't know, dad, you don't know. I'm trying to make money, okay? You guys are holding me back. I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my coins. And they were like, okay. <laughs> like, my, they were not for it. And my dad is a trader, so I should have known. But I decided to be young and dumb. So then, after I signed up, I was added to a Telegram group, which is basically like a WhatsApp, but another platform. And it was very, it was a very encouraging group, I would say. Like they're always encouraging you, saying, "Oh, look, this person made this much money today! Yay! Clap, clap, clap for them!" Like it's a very encouraging group, I will say. However, that doesn't mean it's a good place to be. They're always like, "Oh yes, this person recruited four more people today. They've reached gold status. Blah blah blah. All this nonsense." When in reality, that doesn't matter. It's all a recruitment scheme. It has nothing to do with trading. I was there for trading, right? I wasn't there to recruit people, but. Last, last. One thing they do have is IML Academy. IML Academy is like their platform that they train you how to trade. Honestly, I don't know if I really understood what I was learning. I took a few courses and I was like, eh, this doesn't make sense. I'm gonna just copy this person's trades instead. So that's something you can do. I think it's an add-on. You get it for free the first month and then after that, it's you start paying for it. So I, 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 I decided not to learn much, which is like something you shouldn't do. Make sure that if you're going to invest your money somewhere, you make sure that you learn about the platform, learn about what you're actually investing your money into. There's no point of invest putting your money in something that you don't understand. And I even say that about stocks. I don't put my money in stocks in companies that I don't understand either. So what they told us was that we would get access to their pro trades and we would be able to see it. The one thing that I will say about Forex is that you have to be up 24 seven because the market does not close. Unlike the stock market, which is open from 9.30 to 4.30 at Eastern time, the stock market, the foreign exchange market is a global market. So it's always open somewhere, right? So I would get, I think they're called pips or pings, whatever, or signals. We get signals at like 
3 a.m. saying, oh, trade this, trade this. And you know what? I like my sleep. I really do value my sleep. So this isn't for me. Even if I understood Forex, waking up at all hours of the night to trade, it's really not for me because I can't imagine myself waking up at the middle in the middle of the night to go put in a trade. So I'd miss a lot of those trades, which is probably why my profit wasn't that much. But I started making a little bit of money in the dummy account that we had. And I was like, okay, now that I've learned how to, well, not learned, now that I'm copying this person, I can actually probably do it myself. So I decided to put in, I think it was only $100. Thank God I did not put more money. But yes, I put in like $100 and then I started trading with that. And one thing they do as well is they say no risk, no reward. Like you have to put in bare money, put put in your money and then you'll get the benefits. And thank God I had sense enough to only put $100. But if you are someone who would put $500, $600, oh, I feel bad for you because, because that money is going. Unless you understand Forex, that money is going. So I, I put $100 and quickly my... My portfolio just went down and down and down and down and it was green for a few days But then it eventually started going down and down and down. It was very it was actually tragic So I told my friend that okay, I don't think this is for me and they were like, like no like give it a chance You should give us a chance another red flag. Okay, they're like just give it one more month Just give it one more month if you don't like it. Don't worry like pull out and I was like, okay fine I decided, I don't know why, like I should have been like, oh, my money's already down. I should have just pulled, like ended my subscription there. But no, Rennie is stubborn. So Rennie decided to stay for another month. And you know why? I realized why they actually asked me to stay for another month because they get paid for another month. They get paid for another month. So <laughs> they get a recruitment fee for every month that I stay on. So again, they got paid because I stayed for another month. It's actually $175 or $125 every single month, and that's US dollars. So that's a lot of money. Like that is a, a lot, a lot of money. For the general brokerage account for like investing in stocks, it's like $25 a quarter. So why would I be paying $175 a month? Explain that to me. Explain that to me. So I stayed on and I was losing money, but thankfully I did not put any more money back in. So after a few days or a few weeks, I was like, nah, I'm canceling this. I am canceling this. So this was like January and I was like, nah, I'm canceling this. So I canceled my account. I left the Telegram group. I left everything. I didn't even tell my friend because I knew he would try to convince me, but I was like, nah, I'm done with this nonsense. So I left and um, I was like, okay, cool. I lost a bit of money. Maybe uh, it's probably like $500 now, but like I lost the money, but it's cool. Like I've learned my lesson. I'm not doing nonsense again. I'm not investing in what I don't know again. So I decided to, to um, leave. And then in February, I see that charge from IML. I actually have the emails and I'll, I'll, I'll show them on the screen, but they, I canceled my account and then they charged me for the next month. So I was like, <laughs> Oh no, this is a this is a real scam. Like this is not just this is not just a this is not just a scam. This is a scam scam. They're really gonna take my money, access my bank account, and for yeah, so I decided so after 72 hours they said, oh please allow for 72 hours um before we respond to you. So yeah, I waited the 72 hours and then I followed up again, no response, no response, no response. I was like, Lord have mercy. I think I called my bank and eventually just had them like revoke the transaction but um yeah i don't recommend i really do not recommend iml it was a bad experience and i'm so glad that i didn't recruit anyone because i wouldn't want to be the person who um actually recruited somebody else to join this even though i knew it was not the best platform that's why i always make sure i review things before i actually tell anybody about them because i want to make sure it is the best thing possible so a few lessons that i learned while i was doing this one if it's too good to be true it is like if someone inflates something and makes it seem amazing, it is too good to be true. Just think about it. All the people you probably knew doing Forex, doing IML back in the day are probably not doing it anymore. At least in my case, everyone that I knew that was doing it is no longer doing it. And there's a reason for that. Number two, if anyone is pressuring you that for anything, that is a big red flag and you need to stay away. And number three, a free membership if you recruit other people is a sign of an MLM. Do not do it. Don't do it. Don't. Just don't. So I want. I will say that if you want to trade foreign exchange currencies, 
go for it make sure you educate yourself because the main problem is people are not educated on it and that's how the mistakes happen but if you are educated on it go for it make sure you your brokerage account that you sign up with is not an MLM that's the only thing you need to worry about so just like I would invest with one of my banks find a legitimate broker brokerage account that has to do with that trades Forex for a low cost every month and do that there are many regulated brokers, so make sure you research. If you even search IML, you'll see, like the first thing that will pop up is like scam. So make sure you research whatever brokerage you decide to go with. Last, last, my, my advice for you, and if you're this far, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get actual real financial advice. I've made, I've, I've made mistakes, I lost money. I'm glad I didn't lose too much money, but I, I, I don't want you guys to go through the same thing that I did. And I know I sound hurt, like this person owes me an apology that I still haven't gotten, but you know, I'm over it. I'm over it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you, you learned from my pain that I experienced because there was a lot of pain that went into this, but I have learned my lesson now. I will not be doing MLMs or participating in any MLMs again. Uh, maybe I'll try Forex one day, but probably not. It's, very, it's a very risky platform. But you can make money in it. Of course, just make sure that you're educated on what it actually is. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone. Bye.